Hey, I'm Julie Faithan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to use Canvas Workspace online to convert a PNG file into an FCM file. Now, if all of that is just alphabet soup to you, don't worry. What I'm talking about is taking a picture or a drawing, so this could be a PNG, a BMP, a JPEG file, and turning it into an FCM. That's the file extension that Scan and Cut cuts, so think of it as fancy cutting machine or fabric cutting machine. That's what an FCM file is. So we're going to take that idea and I'm going to show you how to convert one file type into another. I'm here in Canvas Workspace and I'm going to start a new file. Now I'm going to go up to this thing that looks kind of like a scanner. This is the image tracing button and I'm going to click on it. And now we're just going to do normal tracing. If you don't see this window, it's because you haven't activated enhanced tracing. And that's totally fine. We're going to use normal tracing for this. So I'm going to choose my file. And you can see I downloaded some cute little gift boxes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open one. And you'll see here that you can use JPEG, GIF, PNG files or BMP files for this process. So those are the only ones. You can't use PDFs, you can't use EPS. It has to be one of these four file types. Then you can see that you have the options here for tracing either outline or color. So outline means that it's gonna get just the basic outside edge of this. So I'm gonna press preview so you can see what that looks like. Where this blue line appears, that's what you're gonna get. That's just the very outline of it. So I want to do color, which means I'm gonna get the different colored parts of it. So I'm going to leave the max number of colors at five for now, just to see what happens. And I'm gonna press preview. Okay, so now you can see the blue line is cutting apart all these little areas. Now that's a little more detail than I want. You can see it's catching like the different highlights and colors and I just, that's a lot of, that's a lot of detail that I don't need. So I'm gonna reduce the number of colors to three and hit preview. Now you can go through this process of trying out more colors, fewer colors, depending on how much detail you want until you arrive at the result you like. I really like this. This is just the basics of what I need. So I think I'm happy with it and I'm just gonna say, okay. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna paste the image on my work area. You can if you want to, so that you can sort of see what the original looks like compared to right next to the new cutting file, but I'm gonna say no. And here's my image, it's huge. So let's reduce the size. And you can see it's made up of several different parts. And the reason I know that is because of all these little blue lines that indicate there are lots of parts. So I'm going to the edit menu to group it. And the reason I'm grouping it is so that I can resize it so it's gonna fit on my mat. So here it is resized. And now I can go ahead and make the mat nice and big so I can really see what's happening. And back up under the edit menu, I'm going to ungroup it again. So you can see all these blue lines indicate that this is lots of different files. So to make things a little bit clearer for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the most outside image. Okay, you can see that there. And I'm gonna go up to the properties menu and I'm gonna fill it with a color so I can see it. So now I can see the basics of what I'm getting. And this could be enough, this could be all that you want. So I'm gonna pull that out. And you can see that we have lots of little bits left over. So now I can make some decisions about what I actually want to cut out. So for instance, you can see there's like an extra line along this tag. I don't want that. So I just want the tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tag out. Here it is, you can see it fits right into our image. So I'm gonna pull that out. Um, and I don't want this, so I'm gonna highlight it and hit the delete key. I also don't want any of these little images, like this little circle, delete. I don't want this ring, delete. Um, this is a very small area that I think is probably not useful, and you can see it over here on the pink, so I'm actually gonna take care of that and probably delete that too. But I'm just gonna click on it right now and delete it. So now this is the ribbon basically, except that it has these inside areas that I probably don't need. So I'm gonna click and delete. 
click and delete. But if I highlight this, you'll see it's made up of several pieces. And if I want it to all move together, then what I need to do is edit group. And now it's gonna move as one big piece, which is great. Okay, so I have this big piece, I have this big piece, and you can see that they just fit together just like so, right? And I have this tag, which is really cool, which is gonna go in here. So if I wanna cut the tag out of one color and the big piece out of another color and then the rib out of another color, that's great. Except that I wanna do a little bit of editing to this big piece first. So I can see that one of the things I have is this tiny sliver here and this ring here, and I don't want either of those. So what I'm gonna do first is zoom in a lot. So I'm super duper close on these and I can really see them. Then I'm going to double click. And you can see all these dots come up. I wanna make sure that I have unchecked, or rather I've checked this hide control points. So that way, see how messy it looks right now and how it's much clearer once you hide those control points. Then I'm going to click the little blue control point holding the shift key. I'm going to click all of the little blue control points. And now I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna hit this minus or delete point. And now you can see I've erased that shape, which is just what I wanted. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this ring. It's not really a ring, this sort of horseshoe shape. I'm holding the shift key and I'm clicking all these little blue control points. And this is gonna allow me to delete this shape as soon as I hit the minus or delete points and now that's gone. So now if we zoom out, you can see it's just a much cleaner file. It doesn't have these miscellaneous little details. So the last thing I'm gonna do because I wanna fit everything onto one mat is I'm gonna select all the parts. I'm going to group them. This is just allowing me to temporarily resize everything so it'll all fit on one mat and then I'm going to ungroup it. And this became ungrouped when I did that. So I wanna make sure to regroup it before trying to move any part of it. There you go. So here's one, here's two, here's three. So now I can lay out my paper, my vinyl, whatever it is I'm cutting this out of, and it will all fit on one mat and I can go ahead and do that. So I've sent the file over to my scan and cut and I'm cutting out the three different parts. Once they're cut, they just need to be removed from the mat and weeded. Um, weeding is removing the parts of the vinyl you don't want. I do have videos both on layering vinyl and on weeding vinyl and on applying vinyl so you can look for those if that's something that you're interested in. But once I have layered everything up onto a transfer sheet, then I can go ahead and apply this brand new cut file to anything I want. In this case, I'm just using a plain old black piece of paper, but it looks really, really cool. And just remember, it's easy to convert your files over. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balgerdesigns.typepad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com. <laughs>